Well, hey friends, here we are, day nine. Right where we left off last night, those two walls stayed up overnight, uh, which is good. I guess we braced those properly. Uh, and uh, it's a balmy, I don't know, 32 degrees this morning. So uh, got the fire kicking, got the blue, uh, blue gloves on to start out this morning while we're getting everything uh, all set up. And uh, we're gonna stick with that plan. So we, that far 24 foot east wall, uh, we already framed out that door like we talked about yesterday. I think we're gonna wait to frame out those, uh, those panes of glass uh, till after we stand up the wall. Uh, just so when Sean comes back, she can kind of pick where she wants them. Uh, and, and the, the uh, what am I trying to say? Sense of urgency, uh, because I need Trip to help me get this wall up, this, this front wall, uh, the west wall, which is gonna take a little more time because we're gonna have three windows and a door in this west wall. So it's gonna take a little bit of time for me to do all that math and figure out where that is and then for us to get that stood up. Uh, so I really need him here to help me do that. Uh, do that west wall. So, uh, so yep, we're gonna kind of waste a little lumber on the east wall just so we can get the, the west wall done. So enough of me jabbering. Get yourself something warm to drink. It's coffee for me this morning. Like I said, it's cold. Even my, some of my fingers are still cold even inside these gloves. And uh, enough of me jabbering. Let's, uh, let's get to work. Let's get to busy. Here we are putting that on our 16 inch on center. You see our little X, but you can look at this board and see how twisted that bad boy is. I mean, it's doing a twist. So what we're gonna try to do, I'll try to film it while we're doing it, but I put a screw in the side. I'm gonna use the hammer to try to untwist it. And then Tripp's gonna take the, uh, the nail gun and try to nail it in place. And then we're gonna have to do the same thing on the next board too. They got a little twisty in them. So let's see how this works. So go there I'm gonna see, put my knee on top and I'm gonna untwist right there I got it lined up step on the step on that uh, top board trip this board yep there you go step there there you go now go ahead and nail that in place now we let go with the screw there you go strain it right out now we'll do the same thing on this board because as you can see, that one's twisted too. So just a little tip, a little trick, there you go.
now we're working on this uh, second sheet. Trips on that back wall. We're still on that east wall. Right here's where that door is going to go. And essentially, <clears throat> all but about six inches uh, on this side is going to get cut off for that door. So what we're doing is Trips just going to secure that corner and that other corner down with some screws. And we're going to continue to get the rest of these sheets lined up. We'll get them nailed down before we stand this up just to save us some weight because this is a 24 foot wall that 16 foot wall was heavy excited to see how heavy this is going to be but we're going to unscrew this board uh this sheet right here we'll unscrew this and then we'll come back and we'll uh rough it in after we uh after we stand it up so just just a little trick so we'll like i said screw these down uh get all these lined up once we get those lined up take this off reinstall it later Sorry about the generator, but we kind of got carried away a little. I forgot this isn't really a 24 foot wall. So, uh, got to this last sheet. We had everything in place. Now we're just gonna come down here. We're gonna measure uh, from outside edge to the edge of this. It looks like about 41 and a half is what we're gonna shoot for there. And let me just go down here and confirm we're at the same distance. Yep, 41 and a half. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna rip this sheet down. <clears throat> 41 and a half. I, I don't think. Nope. We're not, not that lucky. <laughs> so we'll get this squared up on the uh, sawhorses a little better, make it a little more sturdy. I'll get the um, the four foot uh, level. We'll draw some lines. We'll cut this bad boy out. So uh, we decided to use trusty old chalk line instead i mean why not right now i don't have one of those tracks or whatever those things are called those big fancy things i only got a four foot level so i'm gonna try to go as slow as i can but if we all remember the last time ed got something in his eye i was cutting osb this stuff just swings crap like crazy so i got my hat tucked down a little try to protect my eyes trip's got his eye pro on we're just gonna go low and slow nice and easy and get this uh get this thing ripped down Check it now and see. Well, we're 41 3 8. I cut a little short, but that's okay. I think we'll be okay. Let's uh, put the camera up. We'll throw it down. We'll check and make sure it's going to fit. And then we'll nail it. All right, all framed, all nailed. All we're going to do now, we're going to jack these up a little. And uh, we're going to try to stand it up. And then we're going to... First, we're going to stand it up, try to set it on the sawhorses, then attach some uh, some bracing like we did on the sides, but on the inside, so that we have something to kind of control it with. So uh, I'm going to grab some some more bracing. In the meantime, Trip's going to grab that crowbar, jack it up, and slide the whatever two by four, two by six something underneath there, so we can get a handhold underneath there. So this ought to be fun. Let's see. So we're gonna change the plan a little bit. We got a split right here by the door because right, we got a 24 foot section. So 16 foot on that side and almost eight feet on this side. We, we're not gonna go over that math right now. I just realized um, a fault in our plan already. What's that? Oh, the header. Yeah. Oh, all right. No, it's going up all this one piece. Right we're just dead lifting. Okay, you ready? Bend those knees. You ready? One, yeah. Two, three.
So we got a little titch of a gap on the top up here. I'm just gonna close it up. And the top of that's out of level. I mean, we're talking about a half an inch on that end. And while I'm up there, I'm probably gonna put some bracing across the top there too. So, get it dialed in. All right, here we go. We're gonna start on war, war, wall number four. Uh, I had, it took me a while to figure this math out uh, because we're gonna do a door, two windows, and then another window in the bathroom. I might come back and do that window in the bathroom later too, just like we're gonna do those windows later. Um, but I think we're gonna get this, we're gonna get, start getting this all laid out. You see, we cleaned up the work side a little. Trip and I were both going a little crazy, stumbling over stuff that we had on the deck. Plus we needed space to do this fourth wall. So really everything we got up there, I think is what we're gonna need to finish up this fourth wall. So uh, let me start grabbing some materials and uh, we'll kind of walkie talkie as we go through it. Uh, and like I said, I've done the math a couple times and <laughs> it's, it's almost comical. Every time I do it, it comes out a little bit different. So we're probably just gonna make it up as we go and uh, see how that comes out. So we got all of our, our stud mar locations marked out, 16 on center. Um, like I said, we're gonna have 64 inches, really it's 60 inches because we're gonna lay a queen size bed in here this way and we're gonna have a small closet here. So um, that'll come out 60 inches plus the wall, right? We've already counted for that four inches over there, maybe another half an inch with uh, whatever material we, we uh, put there, but we can adjust that on the inside as we go. And the same with this end being a closet. If I need to adjust that over a couple of inches for this door, it's not gonna make a difference. So works out well 64 inches is right here where um, a stud is already gonna fall so we'll make that our king right there at 64 and then we move over an inch and a half there's our jack so then we're gonna measure our uh, our door is 36 by 79 and a quarter so we're gonna measure from right there where that jack is over 38 inches so to right here, and Trip might have to film and reach down to make sure that's still, is that on point there? Mm -hmm. So there you go. So we're gonna make that 38 inches right there. And I'm gonna call this door. All right, and then we're gonna go just like we did over there. We're gonna come over an inch and a half for Jack, and then another inch and a half for King. All right, so now we know where our door is gonna go, right? Jack, King, and we got another stud right here. Um, so now we gotta figure out kind of our halfway point between the edge of this door and the edge of where the bathroom is gonna be. Cause on this same wall, we're gonna have a bathroom down at that end. So closet on one end, a bathroom on the other end. So we're gonna go, uh, go back to the math, what I say? We're 76 inches for the bathroom from this wall. Okay, so the bathroom itself is gonna be six feet. And then we're gonna have uh, a wall here closing off the front of the uh, 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 the bathroom, right? So 76 inch mark right here, coming from that side. So I'm just gonna make a line here so I know this is bathroom. a line like this so I know it's from this line over is the bathroom so then how much space do I have is the million dollar question for my windows because I have two windows trip come here and put your toe on that for me would you Let me just make sure my math added up toe there maybe not so hard lift your foot up right there got it so from there 
to my other king stud, I have 98 inches. So the dilemma we have is we have two 30 inch windows that are six feet tall, almost 71 inches tall. By the time we, by the time we do our, uh, our spacing and everything for the windows, all right, come on in close here, Trip, so we can show the folks, the fine folks, what we've been up to. All right, so we got our door measured out, right? We got King, which is falling on where the stud's already going to be anyhow, so that works out. Then Jack. Then here's where our door is going to be. Then Jack. Then King. All right. Then we have another stud here, and we got a, several inches. I don't know. I didn't even measure how far across this was because it doesn't matter because we're going to start the windows right here. So we're going king, jack. We're gonna have a 30 inch window right here. We'll do these for cripples right here. And then just because uh, my book doesn't tell me, and I'll, one of these days I'll talk about the book that we're using. Here's our center point between the far end of where the uh, uh, closet's gonna be. Nope, the far end of the door and the far end of the bathroom. Here's our center point. So from window, from that door, to where that's going to start here's the center so that's how we laid this out so we started here center we did jack king king jack just to make sure we have enough structural support in between these two windows because like i said they're they're uh almost uh uh almost six feet tall so with the wind we got up here i want to make sure i have enough support in between so i think that will be plenty uh I mean, that's what, that's almost six inches, right? Inch and a half inch. Yeah, that's six inches of, of, of wood that's going to be in between them. Okay. Then window here, window here. All right. Then come down here. And then here's our final jack and kings to round out the windows. This starts the bathroom. And then I'm going to come back later. I, I bought a window for cheap, uh, but it's... <laughs> It's in a frame. It's like a, a display window, you know, so it's got a little handle and a frame and all that around it. So I'm not sure exactly what size that is, but it's going to end up in the bathroom eventually, just not today. So, all right, so let's, uh, let's get some posts. Let's get the pre-cuts, I'm sorry. Start slinging those up here on the deck so we can get those lined up. And then um, I got the measurements. I, got, I need to start cutting some, uh, some jacks. And for the door really is all I need to cut and then probably the sills. So maybe not that much cutting, I don't think. Let's see. Well, all right, I'm finally gonna be able to make a proper header. Um, we cut the something down. Uh, oh, the end of this, end of this 24 foot wall we cut down. So we got this piece here that now I can, uh, I can trim down. But the problem is it's roughly six and a half inches wide and you know these boards are only five and a half inches wide so what i'm going to do is i'm going to nail them together and then whatever piece is sticking up right there you see how that's sticking up i'm just gonna uh take the circular saw and trim it all along that edge right there get it nice and straight so we'll see how that looks so as you see i sandwiched the uh Uh, that OSB in between these two, nice and square there. Let me make sure I'm good over here. There we go. All right, and I'm gonna just nail this in that W pattern we talked about earlier. when you're a semi-amateur amateur. Stuff like that. Back to the W. I'm gonna just let this drop all the way down the circular saw as low as it can go. But as you can see, it won't go, it won't go deep enough for me to hit anything other than the board below it. So. I'm just going to scrape along this and level it up. Thank you, Trip. All right, that wasn't pretty, but it'll do. It'll do. Don't... 
So now that'll fit in there. The proper header for that door. All right, so let's see what we did here. So, so we couldn't come up with a great solution for these giant windows. So what we did, I know it's noisy, generator, air compressor, I think we're on a job site. But essentially we did three sills at the base. So that's gonna be the bottom of that window. And like I said, it's a 71 and a half inch window or something. So to come up here, here's our jacks. We have about 17 inches from the top plate to there. Um, so hopefully it'll be aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Uh, door, so we have door, window, window. And then wall over there and wall over there. So we might not even frame this whole center section right here with uh, uh, plywood, I mean OSB today. We might just start over here in the corner. No, which way do we start? Over there, we started at this corner. We'll start in that corner, lay a couple sheets or a sheet and a half or whatever it takes to cover that. Maybe just one sheet there. And then maybe we'll just measure over and throw a couple sheets over here to close that off. And then we'll get this bad boy stood up and we got four walls standing. And then I'll go along and we'll get the, uh, the top plates, the top, top plates done to get the rest of this secured. And then more bracing the course on the inside because we're at the mountain and it's windy as heck. So. As always, enough of me jabbering. Trip, trip agrees. Let's uh, get some of this junk out of the way and start throwing some wood up here. Well, all right. As promised, 90% of that wall is finished. So we have the two windows and the door. We got the header above the door, not above the windows yet. Uh, but I can finish that later. Trip's got to get back on the road. So we got to get this fourth wall stood up and braced up. So let's... Uh, Hit the drum roll, and let's see if we can get this bad boy up and level and square it off, and then I'll spend the rest of the afternoon bracing everything off and finishing up the top plate. So let's stand up this fourth wall. All right, here goes nothing. Wall number four. I'm going to try to do it just like before, where we squat it up to the sawhorses, and I'll screw in the bracing, then we'll finish it up the rest of the way. there you go end of day nine like i said all four walls are up i still got some tightening up to do like i said um got to finish up these headers i gotta uh do the top plates so essentially what those are going to do is right the, these long walls are inside the short walls so the top plates are going to be longer so they're overlap on the walls to help give it more stability but everything's level everything's plumb uh we're all set uh, trip just had to get back on the road so 
I'm gonna finish cleaning up here. I'll probably knock out those top plates real quick, do a little more bracing, and uh, onto, the, onto the roof next. Uh, ridge beam, then roof. So, uh, gosh, what a blessing. I mean, I, how blessed am I to have the, the, the family that I have to come up here and do this? Uh, I mean, really, it's my dream uh, to do this, for us to do it as a family, uh, and they're just kind of going along with it. And poor Trip. I mean, I worked him all day today. We worked for probably six hours straight and didn't stop to eat. We took a couple breaks, but didn't eat. You know, I gave him a handful of meat and stuff on the way out uh, and some snacks. So, you know, terrible parenting skills. Um, who knows, you know? I think it'll be worth it, though, when he looks back in 30 years and says, yep, I did that. I did that. I dug those holes. I put them walls up. I drove those nails. We drove some crooked nails. I think it'll be worth it. So um, enough of that. So thanks for coming. Thanks for checking us out. Like I said, God has truly blessed us. Uh, if you don't believe it, just, just look around. Look around in your own life and figure out how, ways that God has blessed you. Uh, it might not be this way. It might just be that you got up today. And that's good enough some days. Um, so if you like this video, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you know when we post new content. I'll throw another video up over here somewhere. Uh, it's probably going to be related to us building this little mini cabin. So uh, thanks for checking us out. And as always, be safe. We'll see you next time.